Hey there folks, Nick here. Welcome to the very first episode of Cricket 19. Um, welcome to both new viewers and old alike. That was an awful shot. I'm just stuck here in the nets while I wait for this game to uh, install. It's at 92%. Uh, so here we are, just having a bit of a whack with Joe Root, uh, who's being bowled at by Stuart Broad. Here in the nets, I've no idea why England is the selected team. Yeah, no idea why England is the selected team, but England is the team that I've been given here in the nets for this uh, for this practice session. Uh, it doesn't mean anything. It's not adding up for anything. I'm not, I don't seem to be accruing any points or anything like that at this point. So, oh, that was awful. Uh, so, yeah, it's mostly just a bit of cocking about and having a bit of fun while we wait for this game to finish loading. 97%, we're almost there. Feels like forever, I've been waiting about, geez, it's almost been 40 minutes. Uh, first the game had to install itself on my PlayStation. Then of course I had to download the obligatory update. And, uh, and now of course it needs to install itself. We're at 99%, so possibly this might be the last ball from Joe Root. Let's see if I can send it back over his head, that's the plan for this ball. Nope. It looks like it's all installed now, so we'll have this last, last ball by Stuart Broad before we go and have our first look at Cricket 19. Well, that'll do. It's a swing and a miss. Now let's have a look at the opening menu of Cricket 19 because, as yet, I haven't seen it. There we go. All right, first things first, we need to turn off this awful, awful, awful audio. Menu music. Kill that crap. Loudspeaker music will kill that because, of course, we don't want to get demonetized. Not that I'm monetized anyway. And I'll look at some of these other stats. The theme will make it Australia. Units of measurement metric. Uh, we'll make that wickets and runs. Ball trail on. Let's leave that on semi assisted. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Field radar always on. Field radar tooltips. We'll turn them off. Don't need that. Cool, there we go. We're in Australia mode now. All right, so I've probably cut a whole bit there. Uh, we're all set up. What shall we do for our very, very first action here? Do we go to the training? Let's just play a match. All right, so we'll move this match over to... Where shall we go? Let's go to Old Trafford, just for a laugh. Uh, pitch type, we'll leave that. Leave that standard, lawn striping diamond, clouds, doesn't matter. Match type. We'll make a 5-5 five five just so we can get some quick, a quick match. Leave that medium, pitch wear speed normal, announcer, don't care. Start time, let's make it 8pm. Right, pitch age, day one, stats tracking enabled. Actually, let's turn the stats off for this match because it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll leave that on medium, no cracks, no rain, and the umpires are set. Fantastical. All right, guys, let's get into this very first Cricket 19. I was about to say Ash's Cricket. This very first Cricket 19 match. See what it's all about. And here we are at the beginning of this, my very first match of Cricket 19. Got this really exciting opening fire. sequence this here. Superb stuff. Commentators telling us how fantastic these guys are. What a win. That's done it. The whole Hyping us up, getting us excited. Pretty cool little opening uh, cutscene there. Not sure if that's going to be at the start of every single match. Uh, hopefully not. Because I'm sure that will get awfully tiring awfully quickly. Uh, but here we go. Standing for the National Anthem. What an awesome little addition this is to the game. Uh, all the players there looking very much like their actual real life selves. Uh, I wonder if we'll actually get to hear the national anthems. Ladies it doesn't look like it. So let's see. I haven't played with any of the, the lineups. I've just left them as they are. No changes to their T20 team. Uh, so I guess let's just see what this is like now. 
this match here is going to be uh, probably the prelude to to me getting into a obviously a 50 over World Cup because that is what is coming up here very soon. I've called the toss heads. See what comes up. Uh, but yeah, so I think my very first action in Cricket 19 is going to be to get straight into the 50 over World Cup that is about to start. Ooh, we're kicking off. Let's bowl to start with and we'll chase down the palms. Um, so this will be a good opportunity to see what the game's like. See if I need to tweak the difficulty a little bit. I've got it set to medium, 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 just like I had in Ashes Cricket. Uh, I should probably explain that a little bit. I play this game from a, a fair distance from my screen. Uh, I actually intend to get a bit of bit of uh, a bit of base cam into into this this season of cricket. Let's put that. Let's just have a nice, good length ball. See how things go. Put a bit of extra pace on it. And uh, Burns has just whipped that away for a single. Oh, okay, I can throw it around my uh, my teammates. That's interesting. Pressing the square button lets you flick it over to a teammate. Uh, let's let's try the old in-swing. Get the seam on a bit of an angle. Give it a bit of extra speed. Oh, and he's picked it up. Pulls it past backward point, and the fielder does stop it out there, but he has hit the rope, unfortunately, and looks like... Oh, hang on, I have to actually throw it back. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Burns is off the mark with a single. Uh, yeah, so so I expect my next action will probably be getting started in the old uh, the 50 over World Cup. Uh, let's put an in-swinger here. And uh, that's been flicked away through the onside for another four. Or for, I believe, the first four. Um, let's try giving him a slower ball. See what that does. Uh, it's possibly caused him a bit of trouble. Not able to get that one away. Um, and also, I guess, the beauty of... of, uh, of doing this whole not necessarily getting straight into career mode thing, is that I get to have a bit of an experience. I think I may have been a bit late there and no ball. Goodness gracious me. Mitchell Stark with the no ball. Let's put a bit of heat in this one. He's flicked it up. And oh, he's dropped it. The fielder has dropped it. What? A, oh, that was a free hit, of course. Doesn't matter. What am I talking about? All right. I feel like I feel like a lot of this sound in my ears is a bit loud. Uh, personally, I don't know about you guys. Sorry to any headphone users, but we're going to have to dump some of this volume. down because I can barely hear myself talk, uh, let alone think. Let's see what that's like. Uh, the crowd still seems loud, but we'll see what the announcers are like. Hopefully they're a little bit quieter. He's picked it up. In it's in the air, but safely makes it to the boundary for four runs, one bounce. Uh, an expensive over. I believe that was about 16 off it. 15? Josh Hazelwood's the next man in. What? Is that only 10 off the over? Huh. Felt like a lot more than that. I might just... Oh, no, no, no. I just want to go over the stumps. And put that seam on a tad angle. Tad of an angle. Bit of an angle. Perfect ball, but... Burns has dispatched it for another single. And I might need to turn the fielders to uh, assisted because I genuinely cannot be bothered throwing back every time and I've got no chance of getting a run out if I'm not going to be throwing back. So. Oh, that's it! It's got to be close. 
It's got to be close. No. We won't challenge it. Umpire hasn't even had a look at it. Uh, I've completely made a mess of that. Made an absolute mess of that. Umpire's going to give me a wide for that. <sighs> it's all gone to pot here. It's caught an edge on the free hit. All right, let's see if we can actually make something of this over because it's turned into a bit of a mess with the two extras. Oh, it's a big edge. And we've taken the catch. That's got to be close. Got him! Got him! There we go! Love your work, Hazelwood. Are they going to review it? Are they going to review it? Not a chance. Keaton Jennings makes his way back to the pavilion on eight runs from nine balls. Caused me a lot of trouble and now he's gone. And Joe Root is the new man in. That's my first wicket in cricket 19. Very, very pleased with that. Yep. It's another edge. But this one looks like it'll run away to the boundary. It's an inside edge. It looks like it's gone between the batsman and the stumps there. Let's see if I can force him into another wild swing out wide of off stump. Oh, it hasn't quite gone out wide of off stump like I wanted. They've picked up that run. Uh, I don't think that was a particularly expensive over. It was only, only a couple of runs off it. Cool, we'll just leave the bowlers as they are. No need to fiddle around with things. Nathan Lyon, the spinner. Into the attack. I might start off with a bit of off break. And we'll bounce this one up to Joe Root. At a normal length, put a whole bunch of spin on it. I really enjoy the spin bowlers personally. Uh, but I have had... A lot more success, uh, particularly in Bradman, 17 and 14, uh, with the fast bowlers. Bounce another off break at him, this time a slightly shorter length. And we've got him defend, oh, not quite defending, it's uh, just a soft straight drive. Now we'll try and trick him up with the do's right, we will bounce it so that he's not expecting a different ball. And it hasn't quite tricked him. In fact, he's managed to pick up some runs. And it's a good throw back to the keeper. All right, we'll start off Burnsy with a bounce top spin. Uh, Burns is more than a match for it. It's a terrible throw back. They take the single. Nathan Lyon, second last ball of the over. We'll try another top spin. Actually, let's try the old Doozra. With a bit of flight, why not? Oh, it's a big edge! But not enough. Not enough. Oh, yeah, we can still give the ball a shine. That's nice. If we press up, we get some tactics. I'll we'll just leave everything balanced. We'll bring the keeper up though. And bring the slip up as well. Some moves to the field. And uh, let's try the old off break with flight because we haven't done a flighted ball yet. Yep. He's put it up in the air. There's no fielder there though. And that will run to the boundary for four. Oh, who are we going to bring in now? No, not Steve Smith, for Christ's sakes. Although, it doesn't look like I have a lot of bowlers left. Um, so I guess, I guess we just leave it at that, unfortunately. Oh no, I don't want Steve Smith as the next bowler. Hang on, how do we... How do we fiddle with the bowlers? Manage bowlers. Uh, 
let's actually have... No, oh, you know what, let's leave it as Steve Smith. This will be interesting. Start off with a leg break with a bit of flight. And we will give it a, uh, a short length. And Burns has no trouble picking that up and flicking it for a single. England are 1 for 24 after 3 overs. Uh, 1 for 25 after 3.1. Steve Smith to bowl his second ball. Again, not sure why Steve Smith is bowling, but, you know, that's up-ish. But falls short of the fielder at mid-off. What a shame. It'd be interesting to see Steve Smith pick up what can only be presumed to be his first wicket in international cricket. Yep. He's put it up! He's put it up! Oh, but the field is just not there again. That's gone for another four runs. Burns now eight from six. Let's bounce a toppy at him. And uh, Burns picks that one up as well. Does fall short of the fielder again. Uh, just the one wicket so far in this match. England are one for 31. For my next trip. Let's try bouncing a slide up, but we've changed the length halfway through the run up. And uh, Joe Root, no trouble at all smashing that one to the boundary. He's now 15 from nine. And that's a nice little replay there of Joe Root cover driving that one for four runs. Fantastic. All right, so not much seems to be working here with Root or with Steve Smith. Oh, and I've... Root's picked that up and uh, looks like that will be another boundary in the Steve Smith over. It's been an expensive one. And Pat Cummins... It's going to be our final bowler of the... No, apparently he's not. What the hell? I don't want Travis Head bowling the final over of the match. I want Pat Cummins bowling the final over of the match. So let's add Paddy Cummins with his motion-captured bowling action into the attack. So we'll start things off with a Yorker. Nice, fast Yorker, I reckon. And it's... Where the hell is that ball gone? Thrown back to the keeper there. Not sure what happened there at all. Uh, but it wasn't a run, so... We might try another Yorker. This time, a slower ball. The slower ball has kind of worked a little bit. It's confused Burns enough that he's only been able to pick up the single. And Joe Root now on strike for the final four balls of the over. We might try with the Yorker again because Root hasn't had a fast Yorker yet. Yep. He's flicked it. And it's uh, no trouble at all running to the boundary for four more runs. England now one for 44. We might have to bring this all aggressive, bring the keeper up and the slips up. Let's bring everyone up. A few moves made in the field. All right. And now let's start off with a bit of in swing on a Yorker ball. But as much pace as Pat Cummins can muster. And it's it's got to be close. It might have been sliding down leg stump. I think it might have been. Let's have a review just to see what the reviews look like. Because we've tried everything else. Oh, we don't even get to look at the review. Alright. Let's outswing one at him. Uh, we'll give him a, a normal length. Sort of a good length ball. I'm going to still keep the pace up. Yep. He's picked it up. There's no fielder there again. Joe Root finding the boundary again. I think he's found the boundary five times, four times this match. Four or five at least. 
And the final ball of the over. Let's trick him with a bit of, bit of a slow ball. Yep. And he's picked it up. I think. Nah, it's safely found the boundary once again. Joe Root finishes things up here for England. One for 52. Going to be tricky. Going to be a tricky run chase. We're needing just over 10 runs and over to chase it down. And are we going to have... That's that, that's that edge by Joe Root there. Um, it seems like these replays, this highlight reel, is sort of... You kind of have the option to skip them, but not really. That's a bottom edge there. Yeah, I, I can't seem to skip the whole thing. So we just get to see lots of little cutscenes there. Uh, and there we go. That's how things finished up. Rory Burns, 10 from 9. Keaton Jennings was caught by Tim Payne behind from a Josh Hazelwood ball, 8 for 9. And uh, Joe Root, the man of the innings, 31 from 14. Let's see what Australia have got in response. So, so far, my impressions of bowling, uh, very much similar to Cricket 17, Ashes Cricket 17. Uh, or Cricket 17, why am I calling it? What am I calling it? Ashes Cricket. I've completely lost the plot here. Oh, I've picked it up a bit with kind of a, a odd ball there. Uh, that's interesting. You ordinarily wouldn't have picked that sort of a ball up with a ground shot. Dave Warner now into the attack. Marcus Harris is off the mark. So let's see what the ground strokes look like. Yeah, so the ball coming up a little bit when you hit the ground stroke, if you don't time it 100%. So now both batsmen are off the mark. Harris is on strike. Oh, it's a very late miss there. Trying to smash that ball over point. Not sure where to go. Not sure where to go. What's he got for me? Yeah. Looks like we might be able to pick up two here. That's been hit into a bit of a gap. I'm going to make Warner run and dive, and he's safely home. As Harris hits that one through the mid-wicket, uh, through the cover region. That would be because we're a left-hander with Harris. Oh, slightly miss hit with the slog. We will get there for the single. So not as easy to time. Not as easy to time is what I'm noticing. So perhaps medium so far is the right difficulty for me. Just uh, just plays that one into the mid-wicket. And no, 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 that wasn't quite an overthrow. So only six runs from the first over. That's not enough. We need to be getting kind of tennis. We need to be hitting the boundary. And so far, just a single from each ball. Uh, but Stuart Broad coming in. Oh. I've taken the edge there, but it hasn't carried to the keeper. Practicing his straight drives there is Dave Warner in between balls. I really want to try and slog one. And there it is. That's a good ball to slog too. It might get to the fielder. The fielder has dropped it. He's dropped it out there in the deep out of deep mid-wicket. Uh, deep cover that would be because once again left-hander. Let's have a look at that replay. The fielder failing his team there. Failing poor Stuart Broad, who did all the work getting me to hit that ball up, and uh, Dave Warner survives. Four from four. Oh, it might be the end of Dave Warner, but no, it's fallen safely, and he's picked up another single. And actually, that was Marcus Harris who survived that caught, that dropped catch. I take a step over, take it off stump guard. No, not quite, not quite. We really need to be hitting this boundary. One run there. And these guys aren't getting their eye in yet. We're still a runner ball. We're still at a runner ball. We need a lot more. We need more like two runs a ball at this point. Oh, he's hit the body. 
hit the body. Played that one a lot straight. I probably shouldn't have played that one to the offside. Let's step across the wicket a little bit. No, go left. Go left. That's too far, but it'll do. And that was an awful over. Two dot balls in it. Mark Wood, the new man in. Harris hoping to put some balls over the boundary in this over. We need to bring this run rate back. There we go. That one's been hit high into the air. And that's almost going to hit the sight screen, I think. Uh, not the sight screen, the uh, the big screen. That's gone 123 metres. Who the hell can hit a cover drive 123 metres? That's ridiculous, that's for sure. Oh, they've just showed that going into the crowd, but I reckon that's hit that, hit that big screen out there for sure. It's 100% gone the distance. And Marcus Harris now is going to duck that. That's going to be a wide, and that's actually going to run away for uh, four buys. We will take that happily. Harris still on strike. England doing the work for us in this over. Well, actually, Wood doing the work for us. We'll pick that one up again. I don't know if it's been hit as well. I think that took a bounce. No, it's gone for four. 97 metres. Wood is not happy with himself. Smashes that one sort of between point and cover. I guess that would be cover point. I don't know. I'm making that up. So we still need 27 from 15. So the run rate now down below two runs of ball. That hasn't been hit very well. I think that's caught. He's gone. Harris. Harris has given Wood a golden opportunity here to really put the hurt on Australia. But he did run, thankfully. Thankfully, Harris did manage to have the sense of mind to run there. And Dave Warner, the man in form, at the very least. Nah, Dave Warner might be gone now. No! He's dropped it! Denying Wood the opportunity to pick up two in a row and be on a hat-trick. So there you go. Oh, the field changing around now. Plays that one back toward backward point. No, we won't run any more runs there. It'll just be the single. Getting him off the mark. Ben Stokes is the new man in. Kawaja is on strike after having a retained strike with a single at the end of the last over. Oh, it's an edge! Kawaja's gone! They haven't appealed it, though. They haven't appealed. Why haven't they appealed? I definitely edged that. I heard it. Well, he's picked it up. No, nah, we're just trying to smash everything now, and it's not working out for Australia. Kawaja is gone for one. All right, we need to start playing a little bit smarter now as Smeave Sme Stiff makes his way in. Uh, he's taken an interesting guard here. So we're hoping for leg side balls, and that's what we're going to get. No, there isn't a single there. Sorry, there's only the single there. Dave Warner's on seven. There's nine balls left and we've got 24 runs. What can we do? Dave Warner sends that one into the stratosphere. Has it made it for six? It takes a long time for the marker to come up, but no, it's only four. Dave Warner with the uh, four over the covers. 20 runs from eight balls. It's all in the balance here. Oh, not been hit very well. The slightly, actually that wasn't even a slower ball. Why hasn't that been hit well? And a single take Timed it late. Perhaps it was just a bit quicker than I expected. Ball comes on fast, I have to say. Steve Smith to, to face Ben Stokes' final ball of the spell. Jesus, we'll let that one go. That's no got to be wide. It's not wide. It's not wide. How is it not wide? Do we get a? Do we get the other view? No, apparently we don't get the uh, length of the pitch review. But here we go. Finally, a spinner. 
opportunity to practice some sweeps, perhaps. No, don't go right. I mean, go right. Here we go, sweep. Nope. Late miss. So, having the same kind of trouble with the sweeps as I was in cricket, in Ashes cricket. Not sure what is going on. Oh, still having the same trouble with the sweeps. 19 runs, four balls remaining. Perhaps we stop sweeping. Moeen Ali. Third ball of his over. Yep, that's edged. Needs to be on target. It's a good throw back. But getting Steve Smith off strike is imperative here because he's just doing bugger all down there. And the commentator's absolutely right there. We do need three sixes in a row to win here. Well, that's been hit straight into the air by Dave Warner. But it's made it over the boundary. Look at that one go. It looks like Steve Smith, not Dave Warner. Looks too skinny to be Dave Warner. So perhaps a bit of a fail on the... Uh... Yeah, Dave Warner just looks a bit skinny. A bit anemic. Looks like he could do with a good feed. Nah, and that's it. The game's over. The game is over. Australia cannot win unless Moeen Ali bowls a no ball and I hit it for six. It's the only chance left of victory for Australia. And Dave Warner's going to go out on the final ball of the match. And that's it. We fall 12 runs short. And England have taken this very first victory in my very first match of Cricket 19. It's a disappointment, but it's not the end of the world, I suppose, uh, because there are more matches to be played, more runs to be had, and more of England to be destroyed as Dave Warner makes his way out of the field. And that's the end of the match. Joe Root, the man of the match, with his 31 not out. And, uh, and yeah, I guess they're not showing his bowling figures. But uh, Joe Root, oh, didn't bowl. Of course he didn't. He's an opening batsman. So there we go. That's the end of the match, guys. Um, I think I've learned a bit there. I think medium is definitely my difficulty of choice. Uh, as I struggled with good batsmen. So it's going to be interesting batting and bowling with, uh, with a career player when we get to that point of the game. Uh, but for now, I guess that's the end of that. Uh, guys, thank you very much for tuning into this episode. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe because we will have more Cricket 19 coming up very soon. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate every, each and every single one of you. And uh, I cannot wait to, to show you more of Cricket 19. Um, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Chairs Club. Oh.